Okay. Uh, last month, NASA and SpaceX together launched Dragon Crew. It was a successful mission. We all know that. So after that collaboration, like many other companies like Blue Origin are coming into the space. So what do you think that uh, privatization of space? Like, what do you think about that? Uh, yes. <laughs> So I think a first consideration should be done uh, between the concept of exploration and the concept of settlement, because I said before, one of our goals is to, uh, to determine a change of paradigm from space exploration to uh, space settlement. So I'm not saying we don't need exploration anymore. We will always need exploration, of course, in the good, uh, in the good meaning of the term, not in the term of uh, uh, conquistadores, you know, <laughs> because even even because uh, uh, nowadays uh, there are not other inhabitants in the solar system. Therefore, I think the context is quite different uh, from the um, <clears throat> the old exploration, uh, in the old history of exploration in our history. Um, however, cons uh, 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 let's consider that we are making space exploration since uh, 60 years, 60 years more or less, and we didn't expand of one only meter outside Earth because we have a space station, the only thing we have, but it is a research laboratory, is not a place to uh, for industry, for civilian development and, and et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, the, the problem is to shift from a philosophy of a strategy of exploration alone to a strategy of settlement and exploration. Uh, our analysis says that likely there will be any more money, uh, financial resources to make even exploration to neither make exploration in 10 years if we will not have started a real space economy. So if we will not start really the expansion, the civilian, exp ex uh, civilian expansion, we will not have any more uh, uh, financial resources to even to continue the exploration. So this is this is a first this is a first consideration. So the settlement space settlement is necessary also in order to be able to continue space exploration, let alone all the other uh, economy economic in the uh, um, activities on Earth. Space expansion is necessary to continue uh, our industrial uh, society because otherwise things like these pandemics will completely jeopardize and destroy our uh, earthly economy. But Michael is posing another question. So if we have to go outside and settle and no more making exploration like in the past, what should we do in order to not uh, uh, completely uh, change uh, the uh, the environments we will be uh, we will uh, uh, encounter in on our road. Well, what I can say is that the asteroids is a uh, a very very huge repository of materials that can be seen uh, dif differently from the uh, from the planets like Mars or uh, even the moon in itself that can be seen as a, a, some kind of environment that we don't want to completely change even if going there it will be it it will be uh, i think unavoidable to uh, to make uh, some human environment uh, human uh, sustain uh, the environment uh, suitable to sustain human life on that but what we say is that we can go to the moon surface and to the Mars surface in order to make research, to make even to make industrial uh, activities such as mining, because uh, the moon, for instance, is rich of uh, adium-3 and other 
um, components that are, are uh, essential to, to, uh, to, uh, for, for energy producing and many other things, but for living, it would be very much better to build O'Neill style colonies. Uh, Gerard O'Neill in the 70s uh, uh, was the main researcher on this side to build big towns rotating in space and so with uh, endowed with artificial gravity and these things could be can be constructed using asteroidal materials and moon uh, raw materials so we will in a certain uh, in a certain way preserve the moon environment and will in the moon environment will not and the mars environment will not be completely terraformed but we can live in orbital cities and it will be very much better even for our physiology because uh, to live on the moon at one sixth gravity or on mars on one with one third gravity will uh, would mean that in few generations but even 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 before than few generation uh, even just staying two or three years at, at that lower gravity would make us unable to come back to Earth if not on a wheelchair. So, because our physiology will change too quickly. So, there is not only a, a, a care for the environment that suggests us not to settle on planetary surface, but to build something else in orbit. It is also for our human interest that we, it would be better to make, uh, to follow on ale uh, uh, more than other, um, uh, other theoricians that imagine uh, moon city or, uh, or other kind of, uh, 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 of settlements. So, uh, yeah, from exploration to settlement is one thing and how and where to settle is another uh, important uh, issue that we have to, to discuss with our academy and to develop uh, uh, the best strategy for, uh, uh, well, I don't want to say colonizing because colonizing is another uh, word like the like exploration that Michael uh, mentioned before that uh, uh, make us remember bad things of, uh, of the past. So how uh, we, we need to settle in space, but we have to understand how and where and with which technologies, which means, etc.